What is up, awesome peeps, and welcome back to another episode of Electrified Reviews. Today, we are reviewing the Unirail Fat HS electric bike, which has a very functional and very sweet dual battery design with a huge max range of nearly 85 miles. This fat tire mud machine is also incredibly fast and torquey and is overall just a really cool e-bike. The Fat HS has two frame sizes, a 17 inch and a 19 inch frame, and one color, it's a matte black with orange accents, which looks pretty good in the sunlight. With a starting price of $2,799 USD, the Fat HS is far from affordable, but it's also far from your average electric mountain bike. Right, let's dive into the specs. The Fat HS has a buffeting mid-drive motor with 1,000 nominal watts of power and a whopping 160 newton meters of torque for a max speed of 35 miles per hour. This motor feels every bit as powerful as it sounds and because it's a mid-drive, it's also able to utilize the gearing of the bike for either extra torque or extra speed depending on what gear you're in. This is a feat that hub drives simply cannot do. It's also something you absolutely want if you plan on tackling extremely steep hills, deep mud, snow or sand, or if you just plan on towing a trailer with extra gear, which is something you could most definitely do with the Fat HS. My only gripe with this motor is the fact that it's a cadence sensor, which is less responsive compared to a torque sensor, and that it has wires protruding from the base of the motor, which could get damaged if you bottom out on rocks, logs, or some other obstacle on your trail. Because of this, the Fat HS would excel most at soft, muddy trails with big hills, but we advise you steer clear of rock crawling, hopping over big logs, or anything else that could potentially lead to strikes. To power this electron guzzling motor is a 48 volt, 14 amp hour battery with Samsung cells and a max estimated range of nearly 35 miles under perfect conditions. But probably the coolest feature about this battery system, and maybe even the bike as a whole, is the ability to slap on a second battery, which attaches to the bosses on the down tube. This second battery comes in a 14 amp hour or a 17 amp hour version and combined with the primary battery can extend the max range up to nearly 85 miles, which is just bananas. The Fat HS has a Shimano Dior derailleur with a nine speed cassette and matching trigger shifters with shift detection. It's great that Unirail upgraded the derailleur here on the Fat HS to handle the immense torque being placed on the drivetrain, and the shift detection adds another layer of protection to the components by momentarily cutting power to the motor whenever you shift gears. This is an important feature and one that can significantly increase the longevity of the derailleur and chain. You'll also notice that Unirail has a chain guide on the front chain ring to help prevent derailments. Very nice. With a curb weight of nearly 70 pounds, the Fat HS is heavy, but it's not overly so, especially considering the full suspension setup and fat tires. The Fat HS has a RST guide suspension fork with 75 millimeters of travel, preload adjust, and lockout. It also has a rear spring suspension with preload adjust as well. This allows you to finely tune your suspension to best suit your ride style. With front and rear suspension, the Fat HS is a comfortable ride on and off-road, and this is particularly important for those longer rides, which again, 85 miles for max range, you're gonna appreciate the full suspension. To bring the Fat HS to a stop, we've got Unirail branded hydraulic disc brakes with 180 millimeter rotors in the front and rear wheels. Hydraulic brakes offer substantially more stopping power compared to mechanical disc brakes, and we're happy to see them here on the Fat HS since it has that super fast 35 mile per hour top speed, you're going to want that extra stopping power. These brakes are also equipped with motor inhibitors, which instantly cut power to the motor whenever you hit the brake levers. Basically, they ensure you're not fighting against the motor when you're trying to stop. The Fat HS has 26 inch by four inch Kenda Crusade sport tires with case shield protection. And these tires are great for floating over soggy terrain, just like we talked about, especially if you air them down a bit. You can go all the way down to five PSI on these tires. Also, the case shield protection is a nice feature to help reduce flats from punctures. There is an integrated headlight on the Fat HS, and while it is brighter than most e-bike lights out there, it's still not really sufficiently bright to hit the trails with at night. If you are a night rider, you're definitely gonna want to sport an aftermarket light with around 2,000 lumens of output, preferably maybe even more than that. Wire management on the Fat HS is a bit all over the place, to be honest, and it would be nice to see the wires bundled more efficiently or maybe even wrapped with a nylon or a plastic sheath. Thankfully though, most of the wires are internally routed, which makes for a streamlined look and also helps to protect the wires as well. 
The display on the Fat HS is bright and adjustable, so big brownie points for that. It also has all the necessary information you might need. However, if you do wear polarized sunglasses, like me, you may not be able to see the screen unless you tilt your head at an odd angle. Since we've got the trigger shifters on the right side of the handlebars, Unirail put the throttle on the left, which was a smart choice. You don't want to combine that on the same side as the trigger shifters because it just starts to feel cramped. I'm really digging the Fat HS and feel that this e-mountain bike would work best for those trips deep into the backwoods down the wet, muddy trails that are just too extreme for everybody else. This is also an ideal choice if you plan to haul a trailer with extra cargo. The 1000 watts, 160 newton meters of torque from the mid-drive motor are going to be more than enough to tackle even the most gnarly trails. And the ability to add an extra battery with 17 more amp hours of juice is really just nothing short of perfect. All right, awesome peeps, that is it for the review of the Unirail Fat HS electric bike. Now it's time to take it out for a ride. Oh, <laughs> oh,